Okay, so this question involves a person in a uh, bucket and there is a pulley here. So the bucket is like this and the pulley is like that. And the rope is connected to the person's hand and they're pulling themselves up over the pulley. Now this might seem like a complicated uh, drawing and it might be difficult to try and figure out how to do the solution but we can simplify it simply by drawing a pulley and having a box now remember you have obviously this person is not going to pull themselves out of the bucket. So they're pulling themselves up. So essentially think of it as having a machine, if you will, that is imposing a tension on this rope. But this rope goes around so and it comes back is connected to here. So at both these points you have a force pulling up on the device. So in this case, it would be the person in the bucket. So the mass, the mass is 75 kilos as stated in the question. So what we need to analyze here is the free body diagram. So here's the free body. Here is one force of tension, so you could say FT, and then here is the other force of tension. Now these forces are equal, and the reason they are equal is because this rope goes around the pulley, and it's the same rope. So one of my magic sentences is that uh, one rope can only have one can one rope can only have one tension force so how does this work well the person think of the person inside pulls on the rope and therefore Newton's third law for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction the rope pulls up with the same force and so on the other, so remember also ropes can only pull, they can never push. Okay, so there's another magic sentence. Okay, ropes can only pull, you can never push with a rope. So, so these two forces are acting on this body, and so those are, those are the only things touching it. And so again, my other magic sentence is what's touching it plus gravity for to finish off the free body diagram. So now you see here we have all of the forces on the free body diagram. Here's our free body diagram right here. And the question says, what must this force of tension or the pulling force of the person be if the bucket is to go up with a constant velocity. And the constant velocity is a giveaway because a constant velocity uh, implies acceleration is zero. And if the acceleration is zero, then you know that the sum of the forces is equal to F net for, from, for this free body diagram, right? But uh, F net is MA, and if A equals zero, then the sum of the forces must equal zero. That means, so again, if I say, you know, up as positive, that means FT plus FT that's a T. Uh, 
minus mg equals 0. So now I know that 2ft equals mg. And so now I can say that the force of tension must equal mg by 2. So that's just uh, 75 kilos multiplied by 9.8 newtons per kilogram and divided by 2, which will give us about uh, 367.5 newtons. And we can round that off to probably around 368 newtons. That's fine. So that's going to be the force of tension, or the force with, with which the person is going to have to pull in order to travel up at a constant velocity. So the second part of this question asks, um, if she increases this force by 10%, what will a, her acceleration be? So in order to increase the force by 10%, so increasing something by 10% is essentially, we could go like 367.5. We can multiply that by 1.1, and that's increasing it by 10%. So we'll get... So we'll get 404.25 newtons. And so now, if you go back to the free body diagram, and you have your tension forces and your gravity, which has stayed the same, right? Then now you can say, OK, now it's not e equal to 0 anymore. Um, and so now, we want to solve for the acceleration. So we're going to go uh, Ft plus Ft minus mg divided by m equals a. I just divide both sides by m. And the, the m disappears on this side. And so essentially, it's simply you know, 2 times Ft minus mg divided by m. And so we're going to get 2 times uh, 404.25 minus 75 times 9.8 divided by 75. And that should give us the acceleration. And we'll plug that through our calculator. So that's going to give me an acceleration of 0.98 meters per second squared. OK? And so th that would be up, by the way. OK? That's assuming she increased her uh, the, the pulling force uh, by 10%. OK? So that's the end of that problem. Thanks.